Hello, uh, yes, I am wearing the exact same clothes as my last video. That's because I have made an effort, showered, put makeup on, so you best believe I am making most of it and filming um, a few videos, TikToks, taking new headshots. Um, might go and see some people just to make the most of this effort. Um, I thought I would do a little video today because this is something I've been really interested in watching, um, which is like toys my 18 month old loves. I would love to be showing you fancy like Grimm's rainbows and like gorgeous like Montessori wooden toys um, or like really educational things um, and we have a lot of those things but I feel like that wouldn't be as useful as actually showing you what he loves even if some of those things are noisy and plastic because um, the boy likes what he likes. Other weird things he likes, um, he loves when I open the curtains, he loves following me around with the hoover. Um, just this morning I caught him drinking out of the cat's bowl using stacking cups. So um, he's an interesting child, but I will show you some, some bits that we love. Um, he's not yet walking, he's crawling and pulling himself up. He's just not about that life, um, but that's for another day. So I guess some of the things might not be suitable for your 18 month old, I don't know, you've got to live your life, so you do you. So first things first, I'm the realist, I'm going to start with the most plastic and noisy toy. Um, he got this for Christmas, it's like a Fisher Price um, piggy bank. When he first got it I kind of thought, I don't see him being able to use this but he bloody loves it. Oh, hello, hello. I'm just going to turn you off if that's okay. Um, so it talks, it counts, it like jiggles and um, talks about how saving is fun. We've got nine of the ten coins left. Um, so these will be really good when he's older for like number recognition and um, colours. Um, and then it's really good for fine motor skills like posting. Um, so when he first got it, he didn't really know what he was doing. And I was like, OK, cool. Um, but then sort of when he was like, 15-ish months he really got the hang of it and um, even now like a few months later he loves just sitting and posting them and then opening it. It can be a bit stiff to open they might need a bit of help with that um, but it's really nice to see like his uh, concentration and, and something that he'll sit and do for ages and he's recently learned if you press the nose the pig like jiggles and he picks up and he's like Ugh, which um, is amazing. Next, quite a similar concept. Um, this is a little wooden post box. This was from Amazon. Um, one thing I will say about this is it's really difficult to like open the door. Um, and so we've both got our fingers trapped in there. But it's quite nice in that it's um, not on proper hinges. It's on like elastic. So I'm not too worried about him hurting himself. Apart from, you know, losing a finger. Um, so this is really sweet. It comes with a little wooden... Um, little wooden postcards with different messages and things on they're really lovely um and the thing i like about this is it although it's again another posting game um it's a different position so it took him a little while longer to get used to posting things that way rather than that way um but now he's really good at it and absolutely loves it and it's one of those easy toys that i'll just get out and he'll um spend ages playing and um as he gets older, I think it's a nice one that will grow with him. We can do some nice, uh, we can do some nice role play. He can, you know, we can talk about who he's going to send a letter to. Um, you know, what happens to post never gets here. Um, so I think that's just really sweet. That was a um, an Amazon find. Uh, I think I just bought him that just randomly, whereas the pig was bought for Christmas from his nan and granddad. So that was just like a nice. Um, I saw it on someone's Instagram and thought, I love that. Next thing he loves, anything with wheels. These are my personal favourites. These are Go Grippers. So these are really good from, I'd say maybe like six months um, because they've got really easy bits to grab onto. They come with some cute characters. So if you've got um, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, he's got an alien and Buzz. I think he's got another set as well. Um, and yeah, and they're just really nice, like really easy to grip onto, really easy to use. Um, he's got some lovely like little cars. He's got some that are like these cloth ones, um, but they're the kind that you pull back and they go. So if you play them with him, one of us will pull it back and it will go to him and he'll then try and push it to you, which is in essence then pulling it back. So it keeps going into him. So uh, that's kind of hilarious to watch. But 
And these are quite good, they're quite robust. Um, some of the paint's chipping a little bit, which is a bit of a shame, but um, yeah, they're really nice. I love these. They're not super expensive, they come in packs of twos. Um, and I think they're nice to just like stick in your bag when you go in places. He loves just crawling around and making cars go on things. Um, so yeah. Uh, next, this is a classic Little People. Um, so he's got a Toy Story 4 set, which he got through Whirly, which is a um, toy subscription. I think I'm gonna do a video on that actually. Um, so yeah, so he's got this little Toy Story 4 set, toy, toy Story's Life. We are watching all the Toy Story films all of the time. Um, and then he's got these superhero sets that um, I think belonged to one of his cousins when they were younger. So we've got Green Lantern and Wonder Woman. Uh, Wonder Woman and Bo Peep kiss a lot. I mean, so that's nice, happy pride. Um, and with these, like he likes to make them walk, he likes to line them up, um, just move them around. Um, at one point he like socially distanced them. I don't know if he did that on purpose. Um, but yeah, they're just really nice. And again, they're just a nice thing to like stick in your bag if you go to a restaurant, remember restaurants, pre-lockdown, um, and you can just play with them on his, on his high chair tray. So I love these, I think they're really nice um, imagination toys. Uh, this was a Christmas present from the grandparents. Um, Ruben loves music. Um, his favorite class, he's got a music class that he loves. Um, he loves playing piano, like we've got a proper piano that he plays with his dad. Um, and this is just beautiful. So, um, just the quality of sound is really nice. Like it's not too annoying. Um, it comes with like, um, not recipe cards, what are they called? Like, like music sheets that are color coded so that as he gets older, he'll be able to um, play music himself. It's really nice to just take a little touch. Um, absolutely love this, it's, it's wipe clean, which um, you might be able to tell we've not done in a while um, and it's just really lovely like different sounds and um, it's got like a demo mode and um, because who doesn't love demo, demo mode it's like wooden it's just really like it's just a really lovely toy and he absolutely adores it um, it's one of those things that we always have out and he always has a little um, twinkle um, and then a nice open-ended one blocks and uh, this is so many different like packs of blocks so he's got like the Jacks London which he got um for his birthday from his godparents um he's got some like smaller ones that he got from an auntie and uncle for Christmas um he got these very hungry caterpillar ones which I like because they've got the letters on and um, these are just from Aldi um a while ago and um these like nice pastel-y ones that, uh, that came with his walker um, so he's got loads of different ones and he bloody loves building um, and he's really good at it. So although he's not walking yet, um, he's quite ahead. If, if you look at, you know, he's quite behind on walking, but he's quite ahead on um, being able to build towers. Um, so, you know, he'll, he'll stack them up and he'll love them. And it started with him just wanting to knock them down. Um, he's not yet at the point where he's like building you know, oh, this is a castle for my people to live. Um, it's more just like, how high can I build this tower? But it's really nice. Um, and again, sometimes I just like grab a few of the blocks and take them with us if we go to somebody's house because, you know, they're not too noisy. Oh, she says, um, they're relatively easy to transport. And um, I just think that they're, uh, they're really fun for us to play. I mean, as you can see, um, they're really fun for us to play with as well. So we play with these. Um, and it's just nice that they're, I feel like this, hello Squidgy, do you like the blocks? Um, yeah, I feel like wooden blocks are, are a staple for any child, sort of. Um, he started really enjoying them um, before he was one. He just liked knocking them down, watching people build them up. Um, he found it hilarious uh, and now he likes to build his own. And I imagine, you know, in the next year or so, he'll like sort of doing pretend play with them. So they are Ruben's favourite toys. Um, not included in like various cuddly toys. He's, he's definitely a big like snuggly boy, um, which I love. Uh, so yeah, so um, they're everyone's favorite toys at 18 months. Um, I'm looking forward to looking back at this video um, in like a few years and being like, oh my gosh, I remember he loved that. Um, watching them with him and you know, when we have another baby being able to be like, oh, isn't it crazy how different they were? Um, so if you have any cool recommendations for toys for an 18 month old, 
um, hit me up, let me know. Um, it's always nice to find new things for him to play with, um, especially because we're in lockdown and things are boring. Usually we do a lot of classes, but at the moment that's not an option. So yeah. And this is just toys in terms, like this is just actual toys rather than, um, there's a few things I've made for him, like little posting games. We love to post um, and uh, like little activities, um, some tough tray things. Uh, when we're cooking dinner, he has his own random like battered potato, um, an onion, a saucepan, and a spoon and um, an empty garlic jar. So he likes to pretend to play. Um, so there are like other things that he plays with, but these are his strict speaking toys, favourite toys, um, other than like a Buzz and Woody um, figure from the 90s. Um, but they're upstairs with him right now. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you want or, or don't, but validate me and uh, see you in six months when I finally get time and um, inspiration to film. <laughs>